yeah. Colin McRae entered the World Rally Championship circuit in 1987 and won his first of 25 championships in 1993. Soon, this son of a rally champ would become the face of rally racing the world over in the form of his first video game, Colin McRae Rally. In 1998, Codemasters released the game in Europe and US players took the wheel in 2000. The game began in rally school. There, the flying Scotsman himself taught newcomers how to set up and handle the car. The aim for this task is to drive in a clockwise direction around the cones laid out in front of you. After graduation, players piloted 12 different cars in eight countries and raced against the clock in their quest for the World Rally Championship. The game was the first and only to feature real life drivers from the World Rally Championship sales soared, and a sequel was soon in the works. In 2001, Colin McRae Rally 2.0 did away with the rally school, but introduced an upgraded game engine and five different camera angles, including a head cam, which put you directly in the driver's seat. In rally mode, 90 new tracks were spread out over eight different countries, from Kenya's dirt roads to Sweden's snow-covered tracks. Success was again dependent on setting the car up to match stage conditions, mastering the ultra-realistic steering simulation, and deciphering the co-driver's instructions. But the biggest upgrade was the introduction of an arcade mode. For the first time, players weren't just racing the clock, but also jockeying for position against seven computer or human-controlled cars. Damage was all but non-existent, and the cars were easier to handle, so players could go for broke on their way to the finish line. Colin McRae Rally 3 gave players their first chance to experience exactly what it felt like to be the Flying Scotsman. Driving McRae's Ford Focus RS with Nikki Grist, McRae's longtime navigator sitting right next to them, gamers traversed 56 stages in eight countries. In addition, the upgraded graphics, sounds, and driving mechanics made the rally sim even more realistic and challenging. A new shakedown day allowed players to test their setups, and a forgiving damage model gave them a chance to survive each grueling track. CMR3 was the first game in the series to be available on the PS2. And as the game grew in popularity, more next-gen versions were to come. Colin McRae Rally 04 challenged players to dominate both two-wheel and four-wheel disciplines. Players could now build their own rallies and acquire new technology by completing sub-games. Levels of damage were linked to the level of play, with cars taking on more damage in advanced modes. Finally, new replay cameras provided dramatic highlights so players could get a look at just how much damage they did. Colin McRae Rally 2005 dramatically expanded the number of stages to 300. There were so many they had to incorporate a new country, Germany. Now, players could drive 30 cars, and with a revised graphics engine, they could see every bit of damage from minor paint scratches to, well, major ones. CMR5 also introduced a new career mode. Players began their rally career in the lower club levels and had to work their way up the ranks to one day challenge Colin McRae himself. The game was so successful, the mobile version earned a nomination from the British Academy of Film and Television Arts. Fans had to wait two years for news about the release of the next game in the franchise. But in 2006, the trailer for Dirt debuted at E3. The game's 
ever-growing crossover appeal was signified by the appearance of Travis Pastrana as the voice of Dirt. My name is Travis Pastrana. Welcome to Dirt. You may remember Pastrana as the guy who landed that little double backflip and as the man who defeated Colin McRae in an X Games rally event. Dirt took the franchise to the next gen level of realism with perfectly modeled and rendered vehicles. Handling leaned towards the easier arcade side of things, though the damage engine was anything but forgiving. In addition, Dirt featured six racing modes, even one involving big rigs. But in mid-September, as the game was scheduled to hit PS3s worldwide, Colin McRae fans received tragic news. On September 15, 2007, Colin McRae crashed his squirrel helicopter near his Scotland home. There were no survivors in this crash. He and three other passengers, including his son Johnny, perished. As a show of respect, Codemasters pulled a massive marketing campaign for Dirt. And fans worldwide reacted to the news. Colin McRae was a legendary rally racer and a pioneer in rally gaming. His contributions to both will be sorely missed, but never forgotten. <laughs>